when talking about weight management, we tend to focus on our intake of carbohydrates or carbs as we like to call it. Of course, there is a strong connection between carbs, blood sugar, body weight, but it is not so clearly understood. Hi, my name is Nilanjana Singh. I'm a registered dietitian, columnist and author. Carbs play a crucial role in keeping us fit and healthy and eliminating them from the diet, as is a common prescription in some of the fad diets, is a bad idea and not a recommended practice. Carbs provide us with energy, vitamins, fiber, and they ought to be part of our daily diet. In any healthy eating plan, about 50 to 60% of the calories can come from carbohydrates. The point is that not all carbs are alike, which leads to the confusion about which ones to eat and what to reduce. This is why it is important to focus not just on the quantity of the carbs that are consumed, but also on the quality of carbs that, that we take in. So this is why the right kind and the right amount of carbs hold value in any diet. You must have heard the term glycemic index or GI as it is referred to. This term can help us understand carb quality. The GI value of a food indicates how the blood sugar levels respond when a particular food is eaten. Based on this measure and its comparison with the reference value, foods can be classified as high, low or medium GI. Generally speaking, carbs that are simple in nature are broken down faster, hence the blood sugar response is quick and high and usually the figure is above 70. Complex carbs which have intact fiber in them are broken down gradually so the blood sugar response is slow and blunted and this, remain, this value of these complex carbs remains usually below 55. So this is why the GI of an apple may be low, but the value of apple juice, the GI value of apple juice will be high. Low GI foods are considered good and healthy in any eating plan, whether it's weight management or for a diabetic. Whole grains, chilke wali, sabut dale, peas, beans, leafy vegetables, milk and yogurt are of low GI value. On the other hand, foods like rice, bread, pasta, potato, honey, most of the fruit juices, maida products, cake, pizza, pasta have a high GI value.